I was pleased to report on the RTOG study 9813, which randomized patients to radiation therapy and nitrosteria versus radiation therapy and temozolomide. These were patients with newly diagnosed anaplastic astrocytoma who were receiving radiation therapy. There have been a number of studies that have shown the benefit of using chemotherapy in patients with anaplastic glioma, but there has never been a study comparing the efficacy of nitrosuria to temozolomide. And the primary objective of this study was to compare the two arms. The side effects of the treatment was uh, some of the secondary endpoints, as well as time to progression and the correlation with molecular markers. But the primary objective of the study was to look at overall survival. Based on the statistical design, we really wanted to accrue about 454 patients to this study to be able to show a difference of a hazard ratio of about 0.67. However, because of accrual difficulties, the study was closed early and accrual was about 196 eligible patients. So we have about 200 patients randomized to this study, equally between both arms. Basically, the side effect profile showed that temozolomide was much better tolerated than nitrosuria, something I think most oncologists are familiar with, especially with respect to myelosuppressive effects. In fact, about 27% of the patients on the nitrosuria arm had to stop treatment because of toxicity and there were zero patients in the temozolomide arm who had to stop because of toxicity. So a big difference between the two arms in terms of tolerance. In terms of survival, however, there was really no difference between the two arms. A median survival about 36 to 37 months in both arms. Similarly, there was no difference in overall survival as well as progression-free survival and time to progression between the two arms, showing no survival advantage to the use of temozolomide over nitrosuria. What was very interesting, and as we understand the biological basis of glioma and recognize that within histological grade, there can be major differences in outcome based on prognostic factors such as mutations in isocitric dehydrogenase as well as mutations in ATRX. We have done a subset analysis and with the work of Arnab Chakravarti, we've been able to go back and look at samples of patients in the study and characterize their mutational status for IDH as well as ATRX. In the subgroup analysis, which was done post hoc, there was a clear difference in the survival of patients who had IDH mutation as well as mutation of ATRX, highlighting the importance of these two characteristics in our future studies of anaplastic glioma and challenges the current classification that we use for patients using the World Health Organization histological criteria for grading tumors. So I think in summary, this study showed that there was no difference in the overall survival time to progression or progression-free survival between patients treated with radiation and nitrosuria versus radiation and temozolomide. There was a big difference in the tolerance and toxicity profile between the two arms. Probably the most important thing for this study was the demonstration again that molecular markers are better prognostic factors and better prognostic markers for determining outcome for our patients with grade three glioma.